This is Jeff Jensen with GoInsurance Tech Support for SOLIDWORKS Composer. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how colors from SOLIDWORKS are imported into SOLIDWORKS Composer. Uh, to help illustrate this, we'll take a look at the actual help files for the geometry actors and their color property to see how they're applied to the actor. So the, the way the color is applied is a lot like how colors are handled in SOLIDWORKS, if you're familiar with that. Uh, and that being that if the geometry actor is contained by an assembly or multiple assembly groups, any color applied to the assembly level uh, will override the color applied at the part. So we've got three examples here uh, where we have an assembly group A, assembly group B, and then a couple geometry actors uh, that are contained in, in those. So if no color is applied to either assembly group A or B, then whatever color that is applied to the geome geometry actor is what's going to show in the display window. Um, however, if we do have a color as applied to uh, assembly group B here, which is a parent of the geometry actors, it's going to override the color of the geometry actors uh, so that they match the color of the assembly group. And continuing on up, if that uh, assembly group is also contained in a higher level assembly group like A here, if it has a color applied to it, then it will override any color applied at the lower level assembly group or at the geometry actors themselves. Um, so if we actually open up SOLIDWORKS and take a look at an example file, we'll see how this works and how uh, setting different options when importing these into uh, Composer can have generate different results, basically. So here we have red, which is applied at the assembly level for this assembly, and we have blue that's applied to this part uh, at the part level. So if we actually opened up the part, um, it's going to look blue here. Um, so we'll actually get either red or blue in SOLIDWORKS Composer depending on how this is imported. So we'll go ahead and close the file and we'll try importing it in here. So if we go File, Open, and what uh, this really depends on is the import profile and the settings here. So uh, and the big difference is going to be the merge file into one actor per part. With this option selected, you're basically not going to get an assembly group in Composer and you're just going to have the geometry actor. So it, what it will do is import the color from the part file in SOLIDWORKS. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So we essentially should get blue uh, for that part file here when it's imported. All right, that completes the import process. And as we predicted there, that uh, gear caddy part is blue. Um, so we'll get a different result if we actually go file open. So, uh, select the same file, but now we're going to clear that merge file into one actor per part. And what that is going to do basically is create an assembly group in Composer, which is the name, same name as the uh, SOLIDWORKS part file. And that's actually going to import uh, the color applied to, at the component level in SOLIDWORKS. So now it's actually red. And we can kind of see that here by selecting, uh, here we're selecting, if we select the assembly group, the, the, which is the gear caddy, we actually see that the color is red. And that's why uh, we're essentially seeing this issue here, or this scenario where this, uh, the assembly group B, which correlates to gear caddy, um, has the color red applied to it, which is over overriding the color at the part level. So if we did want this to be blue, we could go in and clear this to be undefined. And now we're actually seeing that blue color applied to the part level. Um, other cases uh, I've seen uh, when doing tech support is um, that the it makes it appear like these the colors aren't being imported into SOLIDWORKS Composer. And that basically happens when a color is not applied to the part level and um, and just at the assembly level here. So if we do save all. So basically if we import this into Composer now, So we're going to import this into Composer, and we are 
going to merge file into one actor per part, that means we're going to call, import the color from the part level. And so it can be easy to confuse this with, uh, with thinking that Composer is actually clearing the color of the SOLIDWORKS file, but in reality, it's just importing the the color at the part level and not actually clearing it. Um, so that's something to watch out for. So if it looks like Composer is not importing the color from the from the part in SOLIDWORKS, uh, first make sure to see if the color is applied at the assembly level or the component level in the SOLIDWORKS file. And then also uh, check how you're importing these into uh, Composer. Normally we do recommend uh, you want to have this merge file into one actor per part, so it's probably best to apply your colors at the part level in SOLIDWORKS for importing them. Um, you can adjust these if you need to adjust those import options. If you go to File Properties, Default Document Properties, and uh, Input, you can actually adjust your default settings here if you're just doing uh, file open and not adjusting those, not having to adjust those settings in the file open window. So hopefully this will help you in importing colors into SOLIDWORKS Composer from SOLIDWORKS. Again, this is Jeff Jensen with GoInsurance Tech Support, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.